Hey guys, Tech Number with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn off, shut down, and then also restart your iPhone SE third generation in two different ways. First method is going to be using the buttons, and then the next method is going to be using the software in case your buttons don't work. So let's get started. So first way and the easiest way to shut down your phone or power off completely is by holding and pressing this button here. As you can see here, that's the power button or the lock button. So on your right hand side here across the opposite of your volume up and down of course and what you do is you press and hold and you're gonna hold it for about maybe five seconds or so as you can see here when you just press it it doesn't activate that menu but you press and hold again roughly about five seconds this menu should come up and all you do is slide to power it off now let's say the button isn't working for you how can you turn it off well there's another way that's built into the phone software which is by simply going into your settings of your iPhone and once you go into your settings you go to general and then go all the way down here where it says shut down and it also allows you to shut down and I click on shut down same menu pops up and all I do is slide to power off now you may be wondering how long does it take for the phone to really shut down takes about maybe 20 to 30 seconds all depends on how much things you have loaded up sometimes you might even want to give it a minute if you're troubleshooting something or having issues with it and after that you'll notice here the completely screen is completely black and tur turn it back on or restart it again you're just going to simply hold that side button here and it will turn on about five seconds or so again but if you say let's say if you use the software method where your that side button isn't working you can take your phone and plug it into a charger which will also automatically get it to turn on for you so those are the two methods you can utilize so i'm going to go ahead and hold this button here just like that because my button works but like I said if your button doesn't work just go ahead and plug it into a charger and you'll see it automatically will turn it on for you so as you can see here I have the Apple logo come up I just wait till I get to the back to the main screen and you should be able to get on the main screen with your lock screen of course I didn't have a lock one on but that's about it when it comes to shutting down turning off and then restarting your iPhone SE third generation I hope this video was helpful if so please make a like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks for your iphone and other devices thanks for watching guys see you guys next time